Well, good morning, folks. James again with Triple J's Travels. This morning, we are at the Big Texan RV Ranch in Amarillo, Texas. We got here yesterday um, from Tucumcari and spent the night, met up with uh, some of the family. So I thought this morning I'd just kind of walk you around, um, just kind of show you some of the park. Right there's our rig. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing good. So again, this is in Amarillo, Texas. It's right off of uh, I-40. It's on the east side of town, like you're heading to Oklahoma. And uh, relatively good size park. All the amenities, water, sewer, electric, even cable TV, Wi-Fi, all that kind of stuff. And uh, this over here, of course, is the clubhouse. Sorry for the sunshine. They do have a swimming pool, an indoor swimming pool, right inside that building right there. The aluminum side area. Heated swimming pool with um, a hot tub and a sauna. And right there, are those little gated areas, there's like three dog parks. You got a small, medium, and large. So, yeah, we got a around here. It was pretty full last night. We got in about midday, had enough time to go check out Gander, and uh, had a steak last night from the Big Texan, and no, we didn't try the 72 ouncer, <laughs> but Jen and I did split the, what was it, was it the 18 ounce ribeye? It was pretty tasty. Well, they did forget some of our sides. They deliver. That's one of the neat things. Is uh, you can get a free limo ride over to the steakhouse, or you can have them deliver to you. But yeah, they forgot our couple of baked potatoes and and uh, some macaroni and cheese. Some of our sides. Well, like I said, outside of that, it was pretty tasty. I don't know exactly how many sites they got here, but they're all pretty leveled, graveled, a few shade trees. I go right over there. It does have some highway noise because it just sits right off I 40, but. Sometimes this is the way it goes. Off over in that direction. You see those little tin buildings, little points on the top. That, or whatever that little that, uh, elevated platform. I'm guessing that's where the old water park used to be. I guess. Looks like they've shut it down, dismantled it, and everything. Kind of turned it into a, I don't know, some sort of event center. I think last night they had some sort of concert over there. They served drinks and whatnot. Here's the wind again. Sorry, folks. Uh, there's a pavilion. And the way this is set up is the, like the clubhouse and everything's kind of in the center. Of course, the park surrounds it. But, uh, you got a playground for the kids. Um, they do take like mid sam and things like that, so you know you do get a little bit of discount if you have those cards. 
but that's about it. It's not a Passport America park or nothing. Uh, but we paid 30 some odd, maybe 36, 37 bucks. So not too bad. We got Joe in the, the pool yesterday. He spent quite a bit of time in there. So we have some fun. Inside there, they got a gift shop. Got your windmill. Over there is the entrance. And they got a good uh, check-in system. You kind of pull up right there. They come out and greet you. And, uh, Greet you, take you to your spot, and uh, very friendly, very friendly people. So, if you are ever in the area and need a place to stay, I highly recommend the the, uh, the park. So, anyway, I think I'm gonna call this video. So. Anyway, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and as always, we invite you to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, folks, please be safe, be careful. God bless, and we'll see you down the road.